Okay, guys, I'm going to make sure that we went over this and you understood what you were doing. So you guys are doing this acid base virtual lab. So I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to go to this website here. And you're going to start off with the introduction. So I'm going to click on the introduction and it kind of walks you what to do here. It says click on the introduction and complete the chart by changing, by changing the tools and the views. So here are my views, which I can go into graph mode like that. And I'm going to leave that alone for right now. But here are my tools. So my first tool that I'm on right now is this pH meter. And so I stick it in here and it tells me what the pH of this liquid is. Okay, so I can take that out. Or I can change my tool to this litmus paper. So I dip the litmus paper in and drag it out. And then I can drag it over here and be like, which one is it closest to? So right now I've not changed anything on the solution. So this is water and it looks to be about a seven. Okay, so then I can go back to this. It gets all, rid of all of that or you can click. So, I mean, let me do this again. If I were to dip this down and I get that, I can always click that and it takes everything back to the normal. Okay, so I went ahead and I did, let me find it. Find a worksheet here. So I went ahead and I did water for you. So I went ahead, I put the pH meter down, got seven. I did the color key and number, it was orange, which was about a seven. I did the light bulb for you. So I'm gonna click on that in my tools. You just lower it down, you just lower it down and you can see what happens to the light. It is shining, but not very bright. You'll see some really bright ones. So it's shining, um, it's a small light and then I have acid red change view to graph. So this is what I mean. I'm going to change my view to graph and my acid is the red number and my base is the blue number, right? So in seven, which is neutral, we'll learn later, they are equal to each other. I have the same amount of acid as I do base. So now you guys are going to then go to strong acid and you're going to do all of that. You're going to use this tool. You're going to use that tool. You're going to do the light bulb and you're going to do the graph and you're going to fill in this chart. Okay. When you are done with that chart at the bottom, you're going to click on my solution. So down here, right here at the very bottom, I'm going to click on my solution. All right now what they start you off with. So whether I, I change this, I change things around. I want us at the original. So I'm going to click this reset button. The original puts us at a weak acid. It gives us a, a concentration of 0 0.01 moles per liter. All right. So I'm going to start with that. And if I look at this, it says original. This is the original data right now. Right now, that's the original data that I'm going to use to compare things to. So before changing anything, I'm going to dip the pH meter into the liquid and it says 4.50. So that's what I would put right here in this spot, 4.50. Um, weak or strong acid, guys, you're looking at this. This is going to tell you weak. Um, I can click it to strong and then I would, I would have answered that as a strong acid, okay? But it's not, it's weak. How many H3O molecules are in the liquid? Well, I'm just going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, I may ask you to count um, H2O molecules later on. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to, let me find one. Okay, so there's a lot there. So you're just going to count to the best of your ability how many H2Os you see in there, okay? Depending on this picture right here. And you can look down here. The H3Os are this, this red, this little red molecule. Um, and then we're going to change the, like, instead of reading it with a pH meter, we're going to use litmus paper. So I'm going to read, there we go, get everything back to its original. Go to pH paper, dip it in, and I'm going to kind of drag it across to kind of see where I think, based off of that color, what the, the color is and what the number is. Okay, then when you do the investigation, you're going to make the following changes. Now, this is to be true scientific research. We're only going to change one variable. So I'm only going to change one thing. So it says describe the concentration or sorry, not describe, sorry, decrease the concentration. Now, I do not care. I'm going to reset. 
I do not care how much you decrease the concentration. You could do that and it's decreased, right? You could click it a couple times. You could take this and move it all the way down. It's 0 0.002 now, moles per liter. Um, but either way, you are decreasing it. Now, everything you do from here on out, you are not going to touch this again. While, sorry, while you are answering these questions right here, you are not going to touch that concentration again. Now, once you're done with these questions right here, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna reset everything, and then I'm going to start with these questions here. I'm gonna increase the concentration. Once again, you could click it once, you could click it a couple times, you can drag this around. That is completely up to you what you wanna do. Um, I just want you guys to see what is happening, okay? Now, once you have finished that, let me drag this up. Once you finish that, we have a CER, which I do this with my biology two class quite a bit, but it's claim, evidence, and reasoning. So it says claim, using the information from above, make a claim about the concentration and its effects. So what happens when my concentration, like what's my concentration do? You gotta make a claim about that. So whatever your claim is, like how does that concentration affect everything else? Then you need to provide evidence that supports that claim. Now the evidence is literally coming from this up here. The evidence could be, well, my, lit my litmus paper turned this color, or um, I have this many H3O molecules. That's evidence. There's not a lot that needs to go there. It is strictly the evidence that you saw from doing that lab. The reasoning is, okay, well, why? Why did this happen? It's because you have more acid in the water, so blah, blah, like blah, 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 whatever you want to do. But that, that's the reason is tying these two things together, the, the why is it happening. All right, so then when you're done with that, you will click back and restart everything. And this time around, the only change we're going to make is we are going to change from a weak to a strong acid. So all I'm going to do is do that, and then I'm going to look at everything, answer the questions, do a claim, evidence re reasoning on the strength. Lastly, we're going to do our bases. And once again, if you don't get that far, then that is okay also. Um, we'll work on it when I come back. But the original, we're going to do the original. So right now, if I just click to base, this is my original. Okay, I'm going to count up my OHs, which are in the blue. I'm going to do my pHs. I'm going to do my litmus paper. And that's my original data. I'm going to look at the graph. And then I'm going to click out of that. Okay. Now, when I click out of it to do, to make these changes, you need to make sure you are a base again. Okay, Because it automatically turns you back to an acid. All right, so now then it says decrease the concentration. So we're going to de decrease the concentration. We're basically doing the exact same thing we did with the acids. Um, you're going to do it with the bases. This time around, though, let me fix that. This time around, you're doing it with base, and you're going to do your claim evidence reasoning again. Um, same thing with this, okay? So just read the instructions. Do as much as you can. If we don't get done, that's fine. I'll give you guys time uh, to finish it later. All right, so um, if you need anything, you can try to send me something, but once again, I'm not for sure. Usually, I can be on my phone and do an email, but tomorrow, I don't know about that, or what is today. I don't know if I can be, so I don't know. You can try. I don't know if I can get back to you right away, though. All right, have a great rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.